Hey, Yarnabees. It's me, Crochet B. Long time no see. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Obviously, uh, a lot of things have changed with uh, Sandy going to the shop every day. So we haven't been able to do a lot of videos together because it's mostly her and what's happening with her business. But um, it's been a long time. We're going to do an impromptu Tales from the Carpet Trail. Here comes the ferry. Um, so we're doing something a little different today. Um, we're going over to the, our closest Gulf Island from Nanaimo called Gabriola. And I promised, I swore I would never, ever go to Gabriola again. Because we have a ferry that's like a 20-minute ferry ride. And they've been known to get like two hours behind schedule. So quite often, if you try to go over and do a job and then come back and do more jobs, it messes up your timeline and it ends up making you late for everybody else. You want to get a picture of the ferry so here's the ferry coming in so what they've done now they've uh, they've added an extra ferry to make it a little more reliable and this ferry is actually believe it or not electrically powered it's not a diesel powered ferry so i don't know what happens if we're halfway across and the battery runs out if they give us all a paddle or or, or what happens but i guess we're going to find out i've never caught this one before so the other thing is, of course, going over to do a job is you have to pay pay the ferry cost. So quite often the customer will pay that. In this case, no. So it's, it's costing us $47 for Sandy and I in the van to go over. Um, and then you, it's free coming back. So it's there and back. So normally I wouldn't go over to do a single job. But uh, this lady was very persuasive. She tugged at my heartstrings and... Um, she also promised to way overpay me, <laughs> so there's that. I'm doing a job that would normally be about a $30 to $60 job, and she's offered me $200 because um, they can't seem to get any contractors to ever go over here because the ferry is so unreliable. Um, so anyway, I'm doing it today. It's the only job I have today. And then the other hook and the reason why Sandy is coming with me is this lady... Uh, is a tarot card reader so she's offered me $200 plus a free tarot card reading so I've never had a tarot card reading before uh, I know Sandy is very much involved in this stuff and very interested so Sandy's dying to come over to see what this woman has to say for my tarot card reading so we'll keep you posted so here's the ferry coming in Sandy will get some video of us on the ferry and on the other side of this island so the plan is to go over and do the job and then Sandy can meet this lady because they're both uh, two, two peas in a pod. I think they're going to end up going off on their own and totally forgetting about me while I do the job. And then I have to get my tarot cards read. So I guess I'll uh, get back to you later, let you know what, what they said. So anyway, the other thing is it's windier than heck today. So, uh, this ferry's going to get blown to kingdom come. We could have a bit of a little rough ride over there. I don't know how well the video shows it, but we've got white caps and stuff in the bay right in close here. So it's blowing about probably 25 knots out there. So this could be an interesting little ride. So, okay, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.
struggle is real. Mm. The waves are good. Yay. Yeah. And I'm starting to feel a little nauseous. Because all I see in front of me is cars and the boat is rocking. Oh, yuck. Anyway, <laughs> sitting here with his machines. Yay. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. So, yeah. Seasickness is a real thing. Oh, God. Hi, Yarn to Bees. So, we're back from the wilds of Gabriola Island place that I swore I would never go to again. Uh, what an interesting experience. Um, you know, uh, the ferry, I will say this, the new electric ferry, um, you know, this does seem to be more reliable. There seems to be a ferry every half an hour, so we didn't get stuck with the sailing weight or things that quite often happen when you go over there. And the nice thing was the customer's house was literally like five minutes from the boat. We didn't have to go too far into the island. Um, so um, you'll, you've seen the video, um, like a lot of people there, they don't get a lot of people over there to carpet clean very often, so quite often the jobs are quite dirty. And they're, they are living in a rural place, so you're tracking dirt and stuff in, so definitely um, there was a lot of dirt to clean, and as I'm sure you saw in the video, uh, we, no video it was just pictures. or the pictures, that um, you know, it was quite a transformation we were able to pull off there. And then we had our tarot read. So I had mine and Sandy's had hers. So that's the first time I've I've ever had one done. Um, it was interesting, um, but a lot of a lot of what she tells you is, I guess, kind of open to interpretation. It could mean a, a number of different things. Uh, apparently, whatever is going to happen is all going to happen within the next six months or so. So I guess we'll we'll find out. She made it uh, sound like I would be doing something different. And uh, different in the next few months, uh, either a different job or a different service or a different something, and then it was going to go off really well and work really good for me. And so I guess uh, that remains to be seen. And then in Sandy's case, what did they say about you? Uh, <laughs> apparently, my business is going to go really well, but <clears throat> I've got some family issues that I have to deal with, and uh, there's some stuff between you and me that I've got to deal with, so I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really understand it, but um, you know, she kept turning over every time she turned over. Carter's like, "Ooh, interesting. Ooh, interesting." So, I don't know. Um, I guess it's all to be determined. So that was our adventure over there. Um, I don't think I would be. She wants us to come back, <laughs> and. Uh, and maybe do some more work for her down the road. So I'll, uh, I'll mull that over. I mean, she, she overpaid me to, well, sort of. She offered me a lot of, uh, way over and above what I would charge, but Sandy kept volunteering me to do more stuff for her. So originally I was supposed to do just that um, one uh, bedroom, the small little hallway and the stairs. Well, Sandy said, geez, well, he could go over these area rugs for you. So Sandy threw another $75 worth of work in. Uh, for free because what the hell we're there so anyway uh, so I guess when it was all said and done it wasn't uh, a whole lot more than if I would have stayed over on the other side but we didn't have anything else that day in the ways of work and it was a bit of an adventure and Sandy got to come with me on a job which she hasn't done in quite a while and, uh, we found out the sort of future I guess of what's going to happen so anyway uh, that's the latest tale from the carpet trail um I guess we'll wait until something else interesting is going to happen and we'll keep you posted. Did you want to say anything? No, I'm good. Sandy doesn't want to say anything. That's astonishing. Okay, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.